My hunch here is because it's called Area Zero. We gotta go to Area Zero. And we saw in the trailer with that tree thing in Area Zero, right? So, guessing it's gonna be a school trip to Area Zero? I still think she might be evil though. I've still got this weird hunch. But then again, I don't know. I've, I had this feeling that Kieran was going to be possessed by a Pokemon. And I don't think he is now because he's sort of sad again. So I don't know. Here we are, Miss B. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that a very special guest is here with us today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago. But I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you in on the situation. Please, have a seat. Don't mind if I do. My knees are creaking. <laughs> oh, please. You're not old enough for that yet. The Area Zero music's kicking in. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition. Yes. To the, to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Area Zero? That's the place in Paldea you want to visit, right? You got permission? My main goal is to uh, are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples for the crystal present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I was hoping we could find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Terrapagos? A legendary Pokemon? Is that Gita? Is it? Uh, duh, read the name. <laughs> It's like, we travelled to Kitakami to steal one of your legendaries, now you can come to ours and steal one of ours. <laughs> More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater in the centre of Paldea. Once the research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also dangers. Generally speaking, the uh, area is off limits, even for research. But that said, but recently... We've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape from the area. That's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But for our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding a capable personnel. Not to mention time to study Area Zero. So, you reached out to me, and I've been requesting access to Area Zero for quite some time now. What do you say? Will you join our little team and we'll explore Area Zero? I'm in! That's kind of the reason I bought the DLC! <laughs> Splendid! Well said, Champion Annoyed Man. Uh, well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your support will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate you gabbing, uh, having on board. Sorry, but I'll pass this one. The League Club's a whole mess right now, and we need to steady ha- But, uh, and we need a steady hand on the wheel here. Sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. I'm curious uh, what our mighty ex-champion <laughs> is thinking, though. I'm going. If there's a legendary Pokemon there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Ooh. But I bought the DLC, bud. So you're going to get disappointed again. <laughs> Interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad Drayton won't be joining us, but it seems the team will consist of Carmine, Kieran, Annoyed Van, and myself. This time, you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. By taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I'm elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened. Ob... Ob... Obf obfuscating? I didn't even know what that word means! Speaking of... Boss, didn't you say we'd have to give, uh, that Briar person? Something to give that prior person? Yes, yes I did. I'd forgotten all about that. Champion Oivan, would you be so kind as to take this for me? It's the Indigo Disc! Insert credits! <laughs> Splendid! We're finally ready to set off then. Oh, Kieran's being moody and distant. Are you two feeling alright? Well enough to travel at least? Well, um... I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. I think Kieran's going to be a little bit disappointed when he's like, I'm going to get this legendary and I'm like, fuck, I paid 30 quid for this DLC. I'm having me turtle. I feel like if he does catch it, they shouldn't have told us. I don't think he's going to. But the fact they're like hyping it up like, 
I want to catch it means it's just going to be like another angry like fight before the thing. I mean, if he has a legendary, I'm bringing Ogre Pond. <laughs> that's, that's just the way it goes. It would be kind of sucky if he catches it and I bought the DLC to get it. We made it. I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I dreamed about for years. Whoa, this is incredible. Wowzers. <laughs> He's come back. His little bit of Kieran came back. So, uh, you've been here before, right, Noivan? He doesn't seem as angry anymore. Maybe, maybe we had, like, a laugh and watched a film on the plane here or something, and now we're good. Friends, huh? Dog bike! <laughs> uh, Gaius. Eh, you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. Uh, what you ma done? What you ma done? What the, uh, uh, Agaius. So you came here with a Noivan back to, uh, back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by the specimen, but alas, we're not here for that. Uh, we're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. So we're going to the bottom and see what's even deeper. So we are going further in, like properly further in. What do you mean even deeper? He's mentioned in his writings that you fell from the depths someplace even deeper. Well, either way, we should start by making for the Zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead, Noivan. Whee! Whoa! This place is insane. Kind of reminds me of the Crystal Pool. So, this is the deepest point of Area Zero. Yeah? Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point of the Area Zero expedition managed to reach a long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of the laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're saying we should head inside this zero lab? Gate's closed though. Wowzers, I feel like a spy movie or something. Way cool. This way it's gonna be like, um, uh, edgy now. Uh. There we go. <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Open the gate to zero lab. Yeah. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Oh. I see. So last time you went through the series of steps to unlock the gate and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Big boot. Indigo disc detected. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> Are you okay? It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, hmm? Shut it. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe it can get us further down? You wanted to go down, right? Down, you say? <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. <laughs> I don't know if she's evil. Or if she's just really excited. I think she might be really excited, but I still got my suspicions. That's what elevators do. <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness! It's just a big cave. Is that it? This is a big cave with loads of terror crystals. So what? We're under area zero or something? Yeah, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than we last were. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than the previous destination? Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anything's going to surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Hey? What's all this stuff? Oh... What are the desks doing down here? Oh my 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 my! This is this is the this is a report written by the esteemed Professor Toro. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, and there slumbers Terrapagos, a hidden treasure 
of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears to, uh, that rousing it will take some time. So it's gone into like a cocoon kind of state? For a turtle? Uh, no, it's gone back in its shell. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Why was I? It must be a cocoon. No. It's a turtle. <laughs> Terrestrialization that appears to hold power of every known type. Oh, wait. Yeah, because the the, the, the the trailer had the new typing in it. Right? Everyone was like, oh, is this a 19th type? Um, I have dubbed this terror type the stellar type for now. Okay, so it's a new Terra type. It's not. It's not a new Pokemon type. Could Terrapagos' influence be at play? Terrapagos is, hid, uh, is the hidden treasure of Area Zero, and its slumbering form of a crystal. And what's this about a stellar Terra type? Brilliant. Absolutely marvelous to think that there was such. So much that Heath didn't write about. These documents of veritable treasure trove. The legendary Pokemon Terrapagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on. Let's hurry up and go further in. Huh? Glare, 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 glare! More. There are Pokemon all the way down here? What's going on with this one? It seems to have charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! You know, you know, you know you're no good in battle, Miss Briar! He, he, no. Annoy that. You should handle this. Okay, we have to fight it. Kratos. Okay, it's terrestrialized. And get... Ooh. Is that a mini Terrapagos on its head? Wait, 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 wait. So it's got... Wait, what on earth is that energy? Get, get, could it be? Right, I'm gonna just... Can I zoom in? I can't look around and shit. Is... That is a little turtle on its head. I'm not just tripping, right? Is that a tiny Terrapagos? What's super effective against it, if nothing else? Like, I'm so confused. Okay. That did nothing. I don't know what this is all about, to be honest. Because it has a Terra type of every type that it's super effective to, means it doesn't have a... I mean, I'm going to catch it. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I have to kill it. It wouldn't let me catch it. Never mind. Oh well. Yeah, so it was still super effective. Like, I could still make super effective moves against it. I was just thinking that. Weird. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it yet. I'm sure I'll get some form of exposition that will tell me in a bit, but. I don't know. Weird. Did knocking out the sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's just like in the report we found earlier. We just witnessed some Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type. That means it must have had the Stellar Terra type. So, what's all that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure of Area Zero we're looking for? What, a Pokemon that can harness every type? I can't say for certain, but no, I, I don't think so. The professor's notes said that the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. The Glamora you just fought off doesn't fully fit that description. So I don't think it's the Pokemon the Professor's talking about called Terrapagos. Flying Terra... <gasps> it's my boy! <laughs> it's a Diamond! Wait, is this the new Terra type thing? Noivern! Yes! It's my boy! Oh my god. Okay, I might have to catch him and put him on the team if I can. Oh, wait, do I have to kill it? Okay, it is the new Terra thing. Stellar Terra? He's my boy! Oh, what a mad lad. Can I catch them? No. Oh, I can't catch them? Ugh, oh, fine. I'll just ice punch it to death. You can't give me the option of having a Noivan and then take it away from me. <sighs> oh seven. Goodbye, my buddy. My best bud. My good time boy. <laughs> oh, it's the tree! But that's not Terrapagos. 
That's a Garganical. I can't even investigate the tree. Just a tree made of crystals. Maybe it's like something that got caught between the time machine past and future? I don't know! But I said if it wasn't anything important, I'd just go, eh? So, eh? Go. Go over the pond. Maybe that's it. Maybe we see Terrapagos now? Kind of hoping we do. Because I'm not going to lie, this is kind of going on for a while. And it's kind of not really paying off at the minute. 